Hey guys, and welcome to my lookbook slash wig review, brought to you in collaboration with She Love Wig. So this video is sponsored by She Love Wig, and they did send this wig to me for free to review for you guys. But as always, I'll be sharing my full experience and opinion. And so I'm really excited about this video actually, because if you've seen the last wig video that I did, it was more of just a like, I put it on my head and then I just wore it and talked about it. But in this video, I did so much more. As you can tell, I have styled this wig. I like did it in a hairstyle. I have some super cute mushroom clips in. These are like my favorite clips ever. And then I've been seeing people do this a lot lately and it's super cute, pretty 90s. And I wish that you guys could tell me right now if it's working so then I could either keep it or like undo it because I kind of don't know. I think it's okay. If this is like bothering the crap out of anybody right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it because I found that if I try to fuck with the wig too much, I just, I get to a point where I'm like, oh, I should have left it alone, and so I'm just gonna leave it alone, and we're just gonna get into the video. And so stay tuned for the lookbook that will be coming up in just a little bit, but first I want to go over the specifications of the wig and what I did to get it to look like this, because it did not come to me exactly like this. This is a lace front synthetic wig. And it says that it is standard high temperature synthetic hair. And then the product page says that the length is as pictured, which I totally get, but we're gonna measure it anyway. This is about, what, the, what is this? 13 inches. Um, the back is shorter, so I'll do a spin around for you, finally. So this has, you know, that kind of angled cut where the back is shorter and then around the sides to the front, it gets longer. So in the back, it's like 10 inches. Uh, you can use my code CARO for $20 off your purchase, and it doesn't have to be for this wig. You can use it on the whole site, and so if you would like $20 off your purchase at shelovewig.com, just use my code CARO. And you guys will maybe laugh at this. I have been wearing and styling this wig like wrong this whole time. I thought it was a middle part, wig but then when I pulled up the product photo just now I saw that the model is wearing it as like a side part and then I looked in the mirror and I realized that this side is a little bit longer than this side. I thought it was a fucking middle part wig this whole time and so I've been wearing it like that this whole time and I just now saw that it's actually oh, a little side part so whoops <laughs> but of course I'm definitely someone that ascribes to the belief that you don't necessarily have to do or use or wear something exactly as it's sold and so of course with wigs styling them is a huge thing and so I think I think it's okay that I've been wearing it as a middle part the whole time but I just like I just feel kind of silly so next before we get into the lookbook I do want to just touch on my process of styling this wig, because this is the first wig that I've ever styled. So, what did I do? This is how the wig came to me in this drawstring bag. It also came with this black netted wig cap. So taking the wig out of the bag for the first time, immediately I was very impressed with how soft it was. So I was really excited as I was filming this clip because the wig just felt really good. And so taking a look on the inside of the cap, you have the elastic closure in the back, and the three clips on the front and sides, as per usual. So this is what it looked like the very first time that I put it on. So it has the uncut lace in the front, and then the ends are flipped one direction. So this is the before shot of the wig. Before I tried straightening it, I decided to use the steamer method, and it worked really well. As you can see, this is how the wig looked after steaming it. The end straightened out almost completely. The process was pretty easy, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And so this is how it looks on at this stage, after just steaming it and getting it straighter. And next up is dealing with the hairline. As you can see, it's very dense, especially in the part. You can also see here that the lace is actually a little bit darker shade than my skin color. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pluck the hairline to give it some more definition, and I'm going to try to lighten the color of the lace by using some foundation that matches my skin tone. And so this is the finished product. The part is a lot more defined. I wasn't really sure if I went too much or if I didn't do enough. The lace is just a little bit lighter. 
there is still a little bit of a color difference and I did consider plucking the hairline a little bit more to thin it out but I decided that it already did have a kind of thinness to it I didn't go as far as possible there is still a lot of like shininess to the wig so that it does still kind of have like a fake look to it of course it's a wig so there are still some things that I could do to this wig I could try to take the shine out I could maybe thin the hairline a little bit more I could maybe lighten the lace a little bit more with another layer of foundation but I'm satisfied and I don't want to go too far with anything that I can't take back and feel free to comment down below if you think I did a good job <laughs> And so I do want to give some credit to you guys because you had commented so many suggestions on my previous wig video on things that you can do to make it look a little bit more natural. So thank you for those tips and tricks that came in very handy. So now that we've gone over the process that I went through to get this wig looking like it does now, let's jump into my cloudy days lookbook where I show you how I would style this black to gray ombre wig. So we're starting things off with this casual, comfy, yet practical look that has actually been my go-to airport slash traveling outfit for the past couple months. The belt bag is from Cyberdog. My everyday collar is from a store called Von Desk. The tank top and the sports bra are both from Forever 21. I decided to style the hair in a kind of disheveled, I don't really care what it looks like right now, I just want to be comfortable look. And then my sister actually found the sweatpants for me at a thrift store. This look is very me, and it's something that you'd actually find me just wearing around the house pretty often. For this next look, we're still keeping things casual, but we're going to take it up a notch. This is another look that is very me, but for outside the house. I'm wearing my favorite pair of black skinny jeans. They're Jessica Simpson brand. The shoes are my lovely new rock boots that I got in Barcelona, Spain. Then I have this gray zip-up hoodie that's from Urban Outfitters layered with a black denim vest, which is also from Urban Outfitters. But to take it up a little bit more from how it looks now, let's change the hair and the collar. So now I added my Unif Dame collar, and I just did this pretty simple tie-back hairstyle. I still wanted something casual, but something cute. And then with this one, I'm pairing my favorite everyday, I seriously wear this everyday, backpack that's actually from Zafool, which you can see in my very first Zafool haul. The silver spikes on the black pleather goes very well with the outfit. And so with the backpack, that finishes off outfit number two, and we can move on to something a little bit more goth. So this look, I'm just going to say right now, is definitely my favorite of the whole lookbook. It also happens to be the only one that's all black, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I'm wearing this black denim button-down dress from Hot Topic, paired with some black thigh-high socks, and layered with this crisscross bikini top from Zafool. Then I have my spiked collar from Occultus Official to top it all off. For my hair, I wanted to do something cute, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I did these half-up pigtails with these clips that are actually two little bugs. Just to add a little detail that's kinda cute, but kinda weird. And then for the bag, I chose this one that I bought at the Melrose Trading Post in Los Angeles, California. As you can see, it can be worn as over the shoulder, but it also has backpack straps. And then of course it has silver as the accent metal, which goes well with the outfit. And then for the shoes, again, I'm wearing my all black New Rock boots. If I wanted to dress this outfit up a little bit, I could wear my Demonia platforms, but I decided to stick with something a little bit more low key, especially because then I wouldn't have to move my tripod around. And so even though you might not find me in this outfit as often as the first two, it's still definitely my favorite. And along those same lines, this next look is something that you probably wouldn't ever really see me in, but I wanted to include it anyway as a sort of professional goth look. The inverted ribs swimsuit is from Black Milk Clothing, and the chain collar was a gift from a friend, but they got it at Hot Topic. The cardigan and skirt are both thrifted, but the cardigan is Express brand and the skirt is from Target. I'll be honest that I wasn't quite sure how to style the hair for a professional goth look, so I just kept it down and straight and sleek, although the wind messed that up just a little bit. Despite the fact that this outfit is very far out of my daily wardrobe, I do really like how it looks, especially with the wig. So for the final look, we're going back to cute and casual with this live slow, die whenever sloth t-shirt. For the hair, I wanted to stick with the cute theme that I have going throughout the lookbook, this time with two half pigtails and then the two little strands in the front that might look a little bit familiar. So I paired this t-shirt with a pair of ripped black shorts that are a little bit on the short side, but it's summer, so we're gonna go with it. Then I added my same backpack from before because it goes with literally everything that I own. So the shorts are thrifted, but they're from American Eagle. 
The shirt I got from a friend and it doesn't really have a brand in it, just like a t-shirt brand. And the collar I think was from Dresslink and you can maybe see it in one of my old hauls. Then for the shoes, I'm wearing my pair of black combat boots that are also thrifted. But a part of me thought that they didn't go as well as I liked, so I switched into my black and white and silver Puma tennis shoes. And like the last look, you wouldn't necessarily find me out and about in this outfit, just since I prefer to wear my grey t-shirts at home. Comment down below if you think you might know why. And that's it! I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting together all of those outfits and styling this wig and a couple different hairstyles. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me which one was your favorite. But as for now, what are my final thoughts on this wig? I would have to say that I am super, super happy with it. So right off the bat, like I had said earlier, this wig just is incredibly soft. I really wish that you guys could just reach through your computer screens or your phone screens to touch this because it's, I wish my real hair felt like this. Like if I could trade out my natural hair for just this synthetic hair, I would do it in a heartbeat. It just feels so good. I do really like just the style of it overall, the black to gray ombre, the length, the kind of angled bob cut. I'm just, I really do like the look of the wig and how the hair is, how straight it got, how sleek it looks. I know not everybody likes the shiny sleek look, but I think it's pretty fun. And then like I said earlier, I am really pleased with how I was able to change the look of it to make it a little bit more natural. I will say that having to lighten the waist color was kind of the most frustrating part, but it did end up okay and I did learn something new. And so, while I kind of wish that I wouldn't have had to do that in the first place, it's okay, like, it ended up fine. And now I think it looks even a little bit better because I was able to match the lace to, like, my foundation color, which is my skin color. So, I think it worked out. And then in terms of how it feels, so I have been wearing this wig all day. I've been filming the lookbook and styling it and filming this video right now for you guys. And of course when I was getting it ready, I was wearing it often to just see how it looked, see how I wanted the part to be, all that jazz. And so as of right now, I would say that it feels pretty okay. I did tighten the elastic in the back just so that it wouldn't move while I was changing outfits and stuff. I could see myself, and I honestly probably will, wear this wig like out and about, and I haven't done that in years. I think that it would be comfortable enough and secure enough, and then would be like long wearing enough that I would be able to like wear this out or wear it you know not just for filming a lookbook. So in my book the fact that I am kind of looking forward to wearing this wig out is a really huge like plus. That's like my kind of stamp of approval is can I see myself wearing this outside of a YouTube video and if the answer is yes then I like the wig. Like I talked about in my previous wig video that I did a few weeks ago, I still am very new to wigs. And so I would like to disclaimer that while I'm giving a pretty much a rave review of this wig, that doesn't necessarily mean that I know exactly what I'm talking about. All I can tell you guys is as someone who's kind of a novice, this is my third lace front synthetic wig, the first wig I've ever styled, like I keep saying. Um, Coming from that perspective, I really like it. And then in terms of affordability, from what I can tell, it's reasonably priced. I'm someone that spends, if you guys have seen my Dread Collection video, I'm someone that spends double what this is on Dread extensions, and I have to do a whole lot of work to put those in. Granted, I did do some work to make this fit me and my look, but Still, I can just take this off at the end of the day and then have a different hair. So from my perspective, this is affordable in terms of buying a wig that you're not just going to wear one time. Or even if you are just going to wear it one time, like I don't know your life, you can do that. But what makes it even better as I adjust these for like the five millionth time, I'm really sorry if anybody just hates this. <laughs> anyway, but what makes me feel even better about this wig and the price is the fact that I have my discount code for you guys, like I said at the beginning. Don't forget that you guys can get $20 off a wig of your choice, this one or another one, from shelovewig.com just by using my code CARO. And so with that, 
Thank you to She Love Wig for sponsoring this video, sending me this wig, and giving you guys that coupon code. This has been so much fun for me, I like kind of can't even express it. I really hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Please let me know down below what you think, what you liked, what outfit was your favorite, what hairstyle was your favorite, and anything else you'd like to share. And then a final thank you that I need to give is to my new Phoenix patrons that joined my Patreon family this month. So a huge thank you and shout out goes out to Brian, Cameron, and Rebelli for joining as Phoenix patrons this month. You guys are the best and I'm so happy to have you around. So that concludes this lookbook and wig review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget that I'll have the link for this wig and for shelovewig.com in the description. You can also find my Twitter and my Instagram in the description, along with my Facebook, Tumblr, YouNow, and Patreon. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already, especially if you want to see more wig videos, more lookbooks, more anything that you saw today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!